Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear or lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So I just was recording this video, and my phone totally freaked. Like, this app, I use an app um, that, you know, allows me to do certain things, edit, pause, blah, blah, blah. It froze up on me. I'm like, what the actual? And uh, so I'm starting over. So I just want to come on here and uh, go over an item that was sent to me by Wubin. So shout out to Wubin, and shout out to Daria, who is my representative. I appreciate you sending this over to me. So I definitely appreciate them sending this over. This is the L50. Um, this 1200 lumens USB uh, rechargeable, low power warning. So they actually sent me two. They sent me the USB-C and the micro. Um, I am using the USB-C version right now because most of the flashlights I have are USB-C. Mostly everything I have is USB-C. So just to keep it universal, <coughs> I am using the USB-C one. So uh, here's the information on the back of it. And uh, what do we got going on here? Just got some information. Oops, upside down, sorry. Uh, about the lumens, uh, we got the run times, we have the uh, waterproof, we have the other information here, drop, um, beam, and on the back, I really like that they do this. They put this right on here so you can see it, so you don't have to even open it, because we know a lot of times those uh, papers have a lot of small um, print on, you can't really read them. So, it does have an Osram P9 LED, 18650. Uh, goes into the uh, run times and lumens. So we have high of 1200 for 1 1.5, medium 400, 2.5, low 75, 8.5, echo 5 for 143, and 200 lumens for SOS mode, 200 meter beam distance, IPX6, 8 uh, waterproof impact, 1.5 meters. It is uh, aluminum alloy. So we have the weight and the size, but I will go over that. So comes in a pretty decent box. Um, it's locked in there really well and uh yeah so inside we have what do we got we got a lanyard um we have a usb-c charging cable i'm just not using it because i have like eight thousand of these things um it comes in a little bag comes with the standard warranty information and user manual stuff going on there then they sent us a couple uh extra o-rings they sent me four so that's pretty cool um so that is what's in the box so i'm gonna get this all put away and then we'll get into the flashlight and we're back here is the flashlight this is the wubin l50 um this is what it looks like uh the, it is gonna stick out of your pocket quite a bit let's see um because of where they put the um you know where they put the clip it's over an inch it's uh it's like an inch and a half actually um it will tail stand actually though so i mean this is a rather large flashlight i think i measured it at about five and a half inches when i got it because i was like man this is pretty big uh yeah it's about five and a half but it's really not that bad um if you have cargos on uh if you work like as a first responder for example because i do certified first responder work it fits in your cargo it's fine and because the pants are at an angle the pocket is cut at an angle um so it's not bad and then um, it's really not too bad in jeans either. I mean, it's just kind of a little bit bigger than other flashlights I'm used to. Uh, here it is next to the one I've been carrying, which is the Trustfire uh, Mini X3. I did a review on this, so go back and check that out. So this is a size difference between these two. Um, so, yeah. And next to another Wubin flashlight, actually what I have in my pocket right now is the Wubin X3. And that's the difference between those two. So significantly bigger than both of those flashlights. Um, so let's, five and a half we did, right? So let's see what we got for weight. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on. There we go. So 4.80, um, eh, it's not that bad, but that's what it weighed. Five and a half inches long, 4.80. Um, so on the back of it is where the operating method is here. So method of operation is right here and next to it is where the USB-C um, charging starts. So that's cool because it's not on the barrel. There's nothing there to like get in your way or anything. So I think that's cool. So let's just get into the mode operation of this. So if you turn it on and you, the, the first mode is obviously low or echo, which is five. And then you can turn it off and it'll go to the next mode, which is 75, or just, you know, click it. So turn it off, turn it on, then it's in uh, 400 mode, and then it's in, that is, wow, that's 1200. So, and then it'll go back to echo, and then again, you don't have to push it all the way in and turn it off, you can just go, you know, one, two, three, and it'll go back to echo. So then turn it off, and then turn it on, and one, oops, my bad, one, two, three, and it'll go into strobe mode, well, SOS mode. So any, 
where you're at on the light, you can go into SOS mode. You don't have to be in high or anything. You can just do it automatically from any uh, mode. It does have a memory mode, which is interesting. Um, um, I usually, I've been leaving it in 75 because um, I don't really need super bright uh, light lighting situations for what I need it for. But it's good because if you do, you can bounce it up to 1200. Um, like if you're outside and it's really dark or something, uh, you can use that 1200. Or if you're just inside and you don't need 1200 lumens, you can keep it on a lower a lower mode. So super cool. Um, it's solid. It's got a good grip. This is a good like work light or a vehicle light. If you have like some kind of a chest rig, you can hook this on the chest rig. Or like I said, if you have EMS pants that have the cargo slots on the side, uh, you can put this in one of those pockets. Um, or just throw it in your console, and uh, it's good. It's an 18650, so it's got good run times. Um, even if you just keep it in 75 lumens, I mean, 8.5, I think it said, and uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> actually, that's a really good, actually. So, yeah, it's 8.5 and 75, and that 400, 2.5 is fantastic, too. So I usually look for something that has, like, around three, 400 lumens for at least two, two and a half hours, and this has got it. So I think this is uh, for sale right now on Amazon, the Wubin site for 31 bucks definitely worth the bargain at 31 bucks to pick up uh i will put the amazon link to this item in my uh, uh in the description and you know it's full disclosure it is my affiliate link so i will get a little kickback blah 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 put it back into the channel um so overall it's a decent light um i like the fact that the charging port is back here as well as the operating method because it's not in your way um, a lot of other lights will have, like, you know, it's up here somewhere and it catches your finger. It's just annoying. Um, but this doesn't have it. And, again, it's a little bit large, but it fits in your hand really well if you have bigger hands. You're not going to drop it because it's it's a good size, actually. It's not like a little tiny flashlight that you can't hold on to for sure. Um, and it's just good. If you're, like, I was in the fire department. Um, this is would be great for, like, you know, roadside stuff. Um, so if you're, like, somebody who does like first response or towing or anything like that i just feel like this is a really solid light to use for work um so if you guys get a chance go to the link i put in the description pick this on up it's the wubin l50 uh sent to me by wubin again shout out to daria for sending it on over and shout out to wubin hey you guys have a great week